What's happening everyone? Matt Vanacoro with Samson, and today I'm gonna to show you how to film your lesson or presentation ahead of time and then upload it to a service so that you can share your school lessons, your work presentations and things of that nature and do remote communication, remote learning and remote instruction um, where you're filming the stuff ahead of time and then uploading it to your consumers of knowledge. So we've already talked about synchronous learning, you know, how to get good audio and video conferencing, but now we're going to talk about asynchronous learning where you are filming the product ahead of time and your job, what you want to do is you want to get it out to the world. So obviously one of the first and most important things is getting a good setup going, getting your video set up and getting your audio set up so that people can hear stuff. And then you're going to want a free solution to record this. Now, whether you're on a Mac or a PC, you'll definitely want to check out OBS. OBS is a great app and it is cross-platform and it allows you to record video just like you're seeing right here. Um, but also, you know, use lots of audio sources, um, get the best audio you can. You can drop in titles. You can do everything. You can even live stream from it, but you can also fly in media if you're using media and share your screen. So imagine like a powerful telecommunications tool like a Zoom or a Google Meet, but you know, you're recording the file to your computer at a really high quality, and then you're going to share it out with the world. So one of the most important things, we've talked about audio before, and we're going to talk about it again. You'll see right now, I'm getting pretty good audio because I'm using my Samson, my G-Track Pro. If I were to switch to my computer's webcam, uh, what I'll do is I will disable the G-Track Pro and then enable my webcam mic so you can hear the difference. So right now you're hearing the webcam, the one that's built into the built-in microphone. And it's a little noisy. It's backed by my computer. There's some computer fan noise. Um, it's not pointed directly at me necessarily because I have things angled in a different way. So getting your audio um, you know, with a good device is going to be great. You're going to want to get an external device. So I'm using the G-Track Pro. That is only one solution. Let's switch back to it. But there's lots of different options that you can use from head-worn microphones to mobile solutions, and we'll talk about those in a minute. Uh, the Go Mic is another great solution because you can use it with your desktop and with mobile. So to get an audio device into OBS is pretty simple. All you do is you hit the plus sign down here in your sources area. Okay, so that's what you, the same thing you're going to do for video. So for your video and your audio, you hit the plus sign, and you choose do you want to add a video capture device or an audio input capture. So the video capture device is going to be your webcam, but you might have an external one as well. So you could title it whatever you want. Uh, I'll, mine will be called video capture device too. And from right here, you'll choose the drop down menu of your device. So it might be your computer's webcam, or it might be an external webcam if you have one of those external webcams. And once you choose it, it's going to pop up right there. So you'll have your video device and then you'll take a look at your audio device. So for your audio device, you'll hit the plus sign. So for example, let me delete a few of these. All right, we're just using the G track. I hit the plus sign and I'll choose audio input capture. So now I'm going to tell it where's my sound coming from? Where's the audio coming from? And you'll see my drop down of a couple of different choices that I have. So I can pick my device and then go. I've already got my Samson G-Track Pro. I could switch to my Go mic. I could use the built-in camera mic, whatever I want. So once you've got it, you can set your volume and you're good to go. So there you go. See, I've got a couple of different choices there. All right, let's stick with just the G-Track Pro for now. All right, so once you've got that set up, you're good to go. You can hit start recording right here. As you see, I'm already recording for you, but you hit start recording and you record right to wherever you're going to save your files. So there is a default place where it saves it. You'll look in the OBS preferences menu and right there you'll go to output and you'll see the recording path and that's where you can set your recording path. You can even set the quality from here too if you want. Um, I generally want to leave it alone if you're not sure about what you're doing there but if you want to save some space you can maybe restrict the quality a little bit. So I've got it saving to a spot and then once it's saved I can upload it to where I need to. So I can take a video file and upload it. Now you can even share your screen inside of OBS. So if you got this great audio, people can hear you, you want to share a window with them. It's as easy as, um, you know, up picking another source and hitting screen. So I've got one here. If I get rid of my video source, um, there we go. So now we're not seeing any video and I pop the screen up. All right. You'll see that within OBS, 
there's what's being recorded right now, my screen. And it'll record one window at a time, which is awesome. You can switch between apps. So if you don't want to see the shuffling of the apps, you don't want your students or your you know members to see that stuff, you can go ahead and add another app. I'll just hit plus here and I'll go to window capture and I've got a second window I'm capturing now. And now I pick the app. So I've got a couple of different open apps. Let's do Google Chrome. There we go. Look at that. So now I can show them my Google Chrome screen or my GarageBand screen. You know, whatever I need to, it's up to you. And you can resize them. You can keep two screens going at once if you want, your GarageBand and your Google Chrome screen. It's really, really cool. It's very, very flexible. So you've got the ability to do you know, screen sharing and all that and come up with a great presentation right inside of this free OBS software. Now, once you're done, you can hit stop recording and you can upload your solution to Google Drive. So I'll hit stop recording, all right? And then once I've done that, I've got my Google Drive window, I'm ready to go. If I go to the folder that I told it to save that file to, so I have an OBS videos folder, there it is. I just take that file and I drag it and drop it into Google Drive and then go ahead and share it with whomever I need to share it with. So as you can see, I've got a ton of them in there already. And then I just go ahead and click on the video, whatever I want to share. And then I'll just hit that, you know, share it with people. So I'm good to go. So that's how you share it right from your desktop. You can do it right on your computer and whether it's a Mac or a PC, blast those video files out to the world. Um, but if you wanna do it on mobile, it's even easier because you can use your G-Track Pro with your iPhone by grabbing the Apple Lightning to USB 3 camera adapter and power cable. Now this works and sounds great, but there's an even easier solution and that's the GoMic Mobile. And you can actually film your presentations or videos directly from your phone inside of Google Drive. You don't even have to leave the app and upload directly there. Let's take a look at that. So I've got my mobile device and I wanna film a lesson or a presentation or something just, just with the mobile device. And I wanna upload it and get it on there, everything from the device without having to use a computer at all. It's really pretty simple. One of the things I'm gonna start by using is I'm actually gonna use this GoMic Mobile. So the GoMic Mobile is a great system that it has a receiver and a transmitter. The transmitter is a nice discreet little lavalier right now. You can use a handheld microphone. You can use two microphones with it if you want, but it's really simple. Basically, you turn it on, you can take the receiver and you snap it onto the back of your device, just like that. So once it's on the back of your device, uh, it makes it easy to clip on. So you're good to go and you can just start recording. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'll snap it to the back of my device and plug it in. And for an iOS device, it just takes over the, the camera's microphone. With an Android one, you'll have to use a specific app, but it's great. It just um, takes over the camera's mic and now the mic is gonna be better quality than that webcam mic. So on iOS, all I would have to do is just open up the Google Drive app. And on the Google Drive app itself, there is a button to create a new file. I just tap create a new file and hit use camera. And once I've done that, I'll switch it over to video and I'm good to go. So I hit it and now I'm filming my video. There we go. I'm recording right into Google Drive. So I don't even need to you know, edit this or do anything else. I don't even need to upload it. Uh, I created it right in the folder that I want it to go. And you can use a tripod if you want to keep it steady. And the great thing is that with the lavalier mic here, I have my hands totally free. So if I put this tri this um, phone on a tripod, I can roam around and do different elements of my lesson and presentation without having to worry about that. All right, so we'll switch back over. Now I'll hit use video because I want to use it and that's it. It's going to upload the video to Google Drive and the video is going to be just there waiting for me. So I can share it from there. If I have some edits, I can open up like a Chrome video editor like WeVideo or one of those other free solutions and trim it and edit it. And of course I could use any app on my computer to trim it and edit it, or I can just use my phone to do it. So I don't have to record directly into Google Drive. I can record on the phone, do a little editing, and then upload it. I just want to make it and show you the easiest way to do it. If you want to just film something and get it out right away with minimal disruption, you can literally do it right inside the app. So if I go to my Google Drive right now, you'll see, yep, there it is. There's a brand new file, and I can open it up and view it right in Drive. 
So uh, that's the quickest way to kind of jump out there and get it done and get it done with good audio. So again, the important thing is that people can hear and understand you. Uh, you know, switching to that webcam microphone sounds far away, distant, and noisy. And with it very clear, I have the ability to roam around the room. Uh, I have a lot of teachers that will use, you know, a simple tripod for their mobile device, clamp it, and then go back to a whiteboard or a flipboard and do a presentation. And this way, you don't have to worry if you turn around to show something on the whiteboard or on the presentation, you're not going to totally get lost. You can keep talking and everyone's going to hear you super clearly, uh, even while you're doing a presentation right from your mobile device.